Monday. G'day boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Get Fit or Die Trying. Anyway, mate, let's uh, just coming up behind you there, mate. It's all right. Thank you. You can get some speed up on that, eh? Yeah, mate, just follow it along, man. Bit of a drop off here. It's a bit narrow up here. Yep. Little heart starters, those climbs. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Gloves just came in handy then. Yeah, just go left here. Yep. Ah. Yep. Yeah, it's nice. Once we get through this double track. There's some really rutty downhill stuff yep. and a little bit techy, trying to get sucked in a rut. And uh, a bit of single track sort of goes up the hill a bit. A rut, I'll find it. Yeah. <laughs> right through the last bit there because I hit the sand. Yeah. I was waiting for some swear words there too from that bike. <laughs> he was old mate, his time's almost up anyway. Pretty good shit that day. Yeah, that awesome. Was awesome man. Right, it's, it's a really nice, um, ticky little bit there. Yeah. Um, I think it opens up a little bit here. It's not quite as ticky, but right at the bottom, it's a bit rutty again and loose. All right. Well, that's my first real introduction to you know these all these ticky single tracks. Yeah, here. nice. The bike didn't do too bad. It's got a little bit bouncy through some sections, but um, yeah, it's um. <laughs> Once I know the line, yeah, drop, drop into a few ruts and hit some rocks, but... Yeah, oh, there's a couple of spots there too. There's one rut, there's one high part, and then you've got to drop into a rut, or you take the low bit and yeah. just stay on the rut. I took the high part, and you always, will always slide into that. I did, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, I slid into the rut, and then there was a rock at the end of it. Yeah. There's a tree there as well. It's like, yeah, fucking... I'm just fucking lean <laughs> in, man, lean in. If you're going to fall over, fall to the left. All right. Uh, Tally ho.
Oh, oh, I heard that. Yeah. Bit of a burp, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Bit of fresh uh, lead there. Okay. Just above the uh, minion sign on this side, maybe. Yep. Yeah, I heard that. I heard the pop. <laughs> yeah. Well, I figured, well, at least I'm not too far from the car, but no, nah, it's all right. I've got, I've got gas. Lead? I've got gas canisters if need be. I'll use this first and. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Oh. Well, that first section is that first downhill where it's super, super, super ruddy and bumpy. Yep. I thought, fuck it, this is it. Paul's going to be coming back to look for me in a minute. <laughs> because this thing was just bouncing like yeah. a motherfucker. It was all over the place. I think with the hard tails, you know, like just a bit lower, lower pressure in the rear probably just gives you that yeah. smoother kind of ride, but you, you will probably want to have cush core for those kind of situations back yeah. there. Oh, that's right, man. Oh yeah. Get the old mullet set up going. Because you can uh, put a wider tire on A eh, if you've got a smaller rear, smaller wheel. Yeah. Yep. I'll tell you what, what we'll do, we'll go up this way because this is the adventure loop. Actually, you know what? Turn around and go back. I see a little opening back there. Actually, come to think of it, I might have been up here the very first time. Very first time I came, I reckon. Yeah, this takes you to where you need to go, so that's good. What I've, what I've noticed is that with you on the hardtail, you'll start to pull away above the motor quicker than I can because I'm losing energy in my shockers so I've got to work a bit harder than you on that <laughs> so we need to go left here through that car park there I reckon ah the focus yes obviously you get above the motor your power's 100% going to your back wheel. Yeah. You might skip a bit on, on the back wheel with traction, but I, I, I start to lose power in, in my suspension, I think. And plus, it's a bit heavier, I think. Yeah. But <coughs> pros and cons, mate. Who, who goes for a hike and has a ciggy? Yeah, kind of avoids the whole idea, doesn't it? <laughs> So I said to me, mate, charge your bike up, meet me in the forest, leave your smokes at home. Um, but what we'll do just after this left-hander here, turns into some sort of, a little bit wider single track. So, um, get into that. This waterfall hike, yeah. Otherwise, it's just all that boring fire road. G'day. What made were you riding there? Up there, turbo. Oh yeah. Well, I left it in EMTB. Which I heard is pretty smart. Apparently it can give you the same kind of power as turbo if you put in the... You keep up a good speed though, which is good. Uh, just another way in, I think, from the road, perhaps. One of those right-handers we would have seen. Yep. How you going? Yep. This is why I don't understand why they won't let cyclists on the Heisen Trail. Yep. They're not trying to bob people over. Yep. Share the trail. Yep. Better make an awesome bikepacking route. But I don't fancy hiking the bike the whole way. Yeah? No worries. Oh. Photo wipe, mate. Oh. Oh, nice one, mate. Let's go. Up in the air, so I think up needs to pump up. Morning. 
Should I stay for it? Yes. Nah, it's alright. We're near the end here anyway. How are you going? Thank you. No, I don't. On this one, I was, I've got it in the marina. It's easy enough to, uh, you know, pull back on. Rubber, rubberized bloody bracket thing. Let me get one of that little, really discreet round one. Yeah. Oh, that, that, uh, the ones that just, the ones that just go over here. It's like a, like a ring looking thing. It is, yeah. So that way, you're not looking like a little girl car to school. Bring, bring. Oh, one of those horns. You know, those. <laughs> I right, go left here, mate. So this is basically like we'll go up it and we'll come back it just to do it because it's so nice and it's yeah, a bit yeah. techy. Gets close to the edge, but it's not like you can see it's only about this close. It's not super close. Yeah. So. Yeah. As long as I don't go down the fast way. Yeah, lean to the left, mate. You'll be right. <laughs> There you go, guys. You alright? Yeah, is it sealing up? We can, uh, we don't have to come back this way. We can get onto the fire track up the end here. How's that? What, you reckon we'll whack a dart in it? It's not conforming, eh? It out, so. Oh yeah, that's a whack of dart in it, mate. Yeah. You done it before? No. This is a virgin dart scenario. I'll, I'll grab one of yours and I'll, uh, I'll lay you on. No worries, mate. So, first time using the stands dart system. This is why we uh, we pack these things. It's all in the box. All in the all in the tube, apparently. Is it? Yeah. All right, and there's one preloaded, ready to go. Right, spin it around, mate. That will wear off. Yep. It, it fills it up and it wears off okay. and, and the remainder stays inside it. That's apparently the idea of, have watched the YouTube video yeah. months ago. All right. All right, man. You want me to lead the way or you want to lead it? No, you go. Mate. All right, mate. I'm in the wrong gear too. Well, I've got to turn my bike on, that's why it's hard. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> does, does yours turn off after a while? Uh, it will, but it did it this time. Right. Yeah, so actually I'm in EMTB along here. Yeah, same, same here. Well, techy bit here, mate. Oh. Very techy. Watch the derailleur. Whoa, I heard a crack there. Ah. Once again, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it's very much like that. Yeah. yeah, there's a couple of tracks there like that. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, fucking name of an Elvis song. Um, Jailhouse Rock. Oh, yeah. That track. Very rocky like this. Yeah, man, I'll be up for that. What would be nice, in fact, would be to um, go park up at maybe Callington and then do the lavender trail up to there. Yeah. And then do that and come back, you know, so you get more of a ride in as well. Because yeah. there's only a sort of like so much you can do there. But there's a couple of, you know, you can do them a couple of times and whatnot. But yeah, there's a, the car park at Kinchina is not too bad. There's always, well, not always, but, you know, it's... Um, well, I have seen cop cars sort of drive down the little dirt road near it, so... Oh, yeah. So I reckon what we do now, if we take this leap back around to the trails that we missed at the beginning... Yep. And then we just go to the, to the end of the eventual loop and then that should be about it. Ties all good? Excellent. Oh yeah, up, up and away. Yeah, stick to the, stick to this high line. Hey buddy.
still manage a nice little descent down there. Track day. Nice air spots in front of the mountain biking group, <laughs> and I didn't stack it. Nice. Oop. You get, you get. Oh, yeah, 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 you go. Yep, yep. That's the way. Good day. Photo? Yeah. Sunny side? There, yeah, something like that. And how's that, how's that, uh, let's have a look at that dart. How's that holding up, mate? Is it worn off yet? That's it there. Okay. Right. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. Oh, not the dart. Do you want to go back up that single trail or do you want to just take the uh, fire track? Um, well, we'll go back up it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go back up it. Yep. Gluttons for punishment, should we go back in here? Yep. So this is where my motor cuts off. I'm just going to leave it here. The motor's cutting in and out. It's a nice and comfy speed. Whoa, watch the corner there. I can actually still hear the motor at 26.3. Now for the last half hour. Yeah, I think I used turbo once early on, one of those climbs. Yeah. But yeah, ENTB. <laughs> it's good mode. It is, isn't it? Smarts of the Germans, yeah. <laughs> Back once again. Here comes the breeze. Hey, mate. I haven't been down this one yet. It'll be fun. No, I was just saying I haven't been down it yet. It would be good. If we park down there. <laughs> nice little jumps here. Alright, turbo mate. That'd be a good one. Yeah. Woo. Oh. 
Oh, he's tear bar in that little punchy bit. Yep. There. Oh, oh. Just because I wanted to get up it without stopping. Oh, <laughs> oh pedal strike. Got to recover those jelly legs. Save those legs, man. There's a bit more downhill techie stuff coming up soon. Okay. There's one last switchback climb as well. All right. Which is uh, always good fun passing the A bikers. <laughs> Makes such a difference, man, having that um, dropper post lubricated properly. Just there when I need it, bro. Yep. Before it was slow. And sometimes it'll go up and down three times in the span of 30 seconds. Yeah, and you want it to be quick. Yeah. Anyone they don't know what they're missing until they use it and they'll be like, I don't know how you live without it. Yeah. That's what I was like. So even gravel bike riders now are using them? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to go techie, you need it. Yeah. Otherwise, fucking wear a bloody ball protector. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, it's the only problem with having balls. They get in the way all the time. I've come across that, speaking of balls, or lack of, the last two times on the Kidman Trail, that same little heifer. Oh, really? Yeah. Is he, is he, is he, is he, uh, grown some balls yet and started to, you know? He's just been there. Yesterday, he murdered me. I just heard this thing. <laughs> like, fucking not you again. Uh. Although I think he was warning me, watch out for that stick. Yeah, right. <laughs> going to punch you soon. Uh. Yeah. Another one coming, mate. That guy running the other way, man. Jeez, he's dawson with death. Oh, yeah. I said, "There's another one coming." There was no he's thank. There was no. There was no thanks, mate. He's well out of the way. Did you do that big rocky lip? No. Nah. It's not as bad as it looks. Got three, uh, three small cable tops. Yep. And then three large cable tops. Yep. So. I'm going to set up the, my digital SLR on the cord on a tripod. Oh yeah, and just see how far you're getting. Yeah. Watching my technique. Yeah, because you don't know, do you? Yeah. You don't know how far you're going. Well, that's right. You see it on, you see it on all the YouTube videos. Yeah, we've got some more Kinchina rocks coming up. And some roots.
There's one more coming to you, mate. Sorry. Yeah, cheers. Let's hope that dart's holding out. How good's that? That's awesome, man. Did you did you uh, ride all the way? Yep. Oh, you're fucking great, mate. First time I did that, I had to push it over that big rock. Mind you, it was winter time and it was a lot slipperier. Mind you, I took the allure of the jump up there without actually considering that corner, the corner that was coming with the rocks on it. I went around. I just kept went for a jog and the bike went whoop. Oh really? Bushes. Oh no, wow. <laughs> that was a good crash though, because yeah, I just took the jog. So that's that one before that left-hander where the cobblestones are? Yeah, yeah right. It just went off the cobblestones yeah. and high-sided. Yeah. Which is all right, you know. I was worried about the derailleur, but it didn't get hit. Uh, oh, you're still alive, mate. Everything's good. Yeah, and I just, yeah, I just went for a jog. <laughs> oh, at least you didn't tumble. <laughs> I reckon we... Watch the roots. Watch the root. Oh. Watch the tree. Oh, I just wanted to get a bit of that. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, so now we've got the switchback climb. Yeah, we go right at the bottom of this bridge. Okay. That was the pinnacle of the ride. Yeah, pretty much. That downhill. Yep. So techy and yeah. nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's dudes that fly through there. I've seen a couple of skid oh, marks yeah. where I'm thinking, wow, you were going that fast to do a yep. skid that long in that spot. Yep. But yeah. And I've, yeah, some jumps there where you go, you can see there's dudes clearing that, and I'm like... There's one, there's like a root jump before a couple of logs yeah. that have been cut. I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Too much room for, for crashing. Oh, oh, a lot of respect, man, yeah. guys. But there's our, there's our climb start there, see? Yeah. And you know what? There's a lot of people our age who would never even do that. A lot of people our age, mate, that are still in bed at the moment. Yeah. Probably having a coffee and a ciggy. That's, that's exactly. You've only got some, you've only got limited time. And if I'm going to die, I'll probably die doing this. Yeah, instead of a fucking hospital bed. At least I'll die happy. If you die in a hospital bed, it'll be because of this. That's right. Yeah. Actually, I went, yeah, because I went to the Royal Adelaide last week to get a, I get three months checkups yep. for my lymphoma. Yep. And she's like, what are all these bruises all over you? Should I be worried? I said, no, no. I said, those bruises are what's going to kill me before lymphoma does. And she's like, what, what is it? I said, mountain biking. <laughs> uh, nice. She goes, awesome. Yeah. Well, at least you died doing something you love. Exactly. Uh, Fuck me. Go hard early, die later. Oh. 189. Oh. That's past my limit. Right. Fuck. 170 is supposed to be my topping out. Ooh. Yeah, I'll die of a heart attack probably. Ooh. And that was the EMTB. Yeah, I've only got it in turbo now. 
because I want to rest. Oh. Left here, mate. Onto the tarmac. Oh. 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 Turbo mode is recovery mode. Yeah. 157. I usually top at about 180 on my rides if I look back. Yep. I'll probably hit 190, 180, or something like that. Yeah, that was awesome, man. Thanks for driving around, man. Ah, it's my pleasure, mate. My pleasure. There we go. I'm gonna smell it. I'm gonna go up here, go up here. Oh, bloody beautiful. That's what I call a workout ride. Let's get one last photo, mate. Yeah. There's two hours worth. Well, actually, no, maybe a little bit less, but 